Hey guys, Mike from Backyard RC here with the Edge again today. Today I'm going to be installing the aileron servo, so I figured I'd give you guys a rundown on how I do that. Um, you'll see I have my soldering iron here with me today, and this is actually a new thing for me as well. I had someone mention to me that I should try cutting out the covering with the soldering iron. So I'm going to try that here today. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and actually remove the covering from this aileron slot, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not exactly sure how to do this, but I'm just going to start, oh, there we go. And just run down the edge, I guess. And that's actually working quite well. nice and easy to get in there. Now I'll come up to my corners. I'm going to try and be careful not to peel back any covering too much. It's a lot hotter than your normal covering iron would be. That actually worked quite well and was quite easy, so I'm going to unplug that iron here. Now I have my servo ready to install with the extension already. If you have any questions on how to get that one ready, you can check out a couple videos back with the elevator servo install. So I'm going to fish my lead through the wing here. It's pretty easy as there's not too far to go. Now we have our lead out, we're going to drop in our servo. Now the one thing I like about this kit is they've actually given you a keeper for your ailerons here. So I'm going to try and get this through there. might need to grab a pair of pliers. So now I've got some forceps make it a little easier. You're just gonna slide your end through the square part there and now I'll take take it off pull my lead through and you come up and around and that keeps it from sliding back into the wing there. So now we have the lead through, we're going to go ahead and secure the servo. Unlike the tail, there's no pre-drilled holes for this one, so the first thing I'm going to do is drill the servo holes with a 1 16th drill bit. And again, I'll be using the micro fasteners cap head screws here. I like to go ahead and thread them through all the holes first and take them back out. This will put a thread in the wood. And the next thing I will do is put some thin CA in those holes. That'll harden up all your threads there and stop it from stripping out on you. Now we have our threads. We're going to go ahead and remove this servo one last time. Blow away the dust and I'm going to go ahead and drop some thin CA into those holes. And again that just creates a nice hard thread for you to put your screw into. So now our CA is all dry, we're going to drop our servo back in here and we're going to put the servo screws into it to tighten it down. And 
Now that the CA has dried in there, we got some good hard threads to tighten down on and you don't have to worry about stripping out that plywood. Now when you're tightening these screws, you don't have to kill them, but you do want them good and snug so your servo is not moving around. Now that they're all in, we'll just double check that they're all still snug here. Give them a last final turn if they need it. And that's all there is to installing your aileron servo. Stay tuned to see the linkage install.